This topic is we're talking about handling tenants during a sale of a property. Uh, our special guests today, I'm going to let them introduce themselves, Dean. And we also have Chris Gottlieb. Chris Gottlieb from Bora Goldstein. All right. And I'm Evan St. Gerard, your real estate agent here with Dean. We're at Team NWE. We work in Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, pretty much all over New York. If you're looking to sell, buy, or invest, that's what we do. All right. So, Chris, the topic is basically handling tenants during a sale. How do you maintain tenant cooperation during a property showing? I mean, on a real estate side, basically, we, we kind of have an idea what we're doing, but we want to make sure that we're covered, basically. So, that's why we seek legal advice from you what should we be doing basically when we're dealing with tenants and showings well you probably want to give them notice that you need access and send that letter asking them to, to contact you and set that up at least 48 hours notice 24 hours notice is for emergencies so that's for the showing if you need them to leave you probably want to start that 30 or 60 or 90 day notice of termination, you know, and but, but still talk to them and tell them you're just protecting your rights. Um, if they don't leave after the notice of termination, then you can start the case or the buyer can start the case. Like money, cash for keys. It's not illegal. Yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, it's completely allowed. Um, you just want to make sure you're not harassing the tenant and there's specific laws. You, you should get an attorney to uh, coordinate the buyout uh, and to try to start the the communication okay. and uh, you should not give the money to the uh the tenant until they actually allow you to do the walkthrough and they're handing you the keys don't give them the money beforehand because whatever they sign beforehand if they're not leaving it's mm -hmm. if they don't it's not enforceable the only way to actually evict someone is through a marshal warrant of eviction and the only way to get that is to go to court so, so with the money though sometimes i'm thinking though sometimes the tenants there's willingness and ability to leave you know it's that you know sometimes they're willing to leave but they want a little money because they do because they just do and then other times they don't have the ability to pay you know let's say the new rent or the deposit the first month of the security deposit and stuff like that their ability to pay so do you ever mm -hmm. suggest that have you ever heard of splitting up the money does that make any sense sure. to do like giving yeah like they, they need a security deposit right yeah Some down so pay. They, so, you know, most, most surrender agreements are handled in, in two parts, kind of like a closing. The first okay. part is the surrender agreement, okay. where you set forth the terms of how they're going to leave. And at that time, you would make, give them a little bit of money so they could get a security deposit. But, but the bulk of the money shouldn't come until they actually surrender the keys and you do a walkthrough and they sign the acknowledgement of surrender. Because really, if you don't have a warrant, your right. whole agreement is not enforceable. It's not like you could kick someone out just because they sign a surrender. Yeah. So on the homeowner side, the seller side, basically, we, we, I definitely always tell my sellers, as soon as you're going to put the house in the market, you think about putting the house in the market, you have to have that conversation with your tenants, let them know what your goals are. That way they can start planning what they need to do also. Some people will buy the property with tenants, some people will not. So, but basically we still got to figure out what they want to do. Is there any other thing that I should be telling our sellers basically when they're putting the house in the market, how to advise or have a conversation with the tenants? I have, I have just one thing on the real estate side I just want to mention for people listening. Don't be a secret seller with this, just like Evans was just saying, because sometimes if you let them know, you're giving them plenty of notice as to what you're doing. There's really no way to show your home, have open houses, you know, have inspectors come over and stuff like that without the tenant knowing what's going on. And failure yeah. to notify them just as a person. They just might get, you know, upset. That why don't you tell me this up front? Why are you why am I have to find why do I have to find out instead of you telling me and giving me ample notice, you know, ample time. So just from a respect point of view, I think um the landlord should also respect. You know what I mean? Just treat properly the, the tenants and not be so concerned that oh, if I tell them I'm moving, they're not gonna pay me. Because I hear that all the time. And you know, that's the double edged sword because then they just might not pay you because because you didn't tell them. So uh, my suggestion as a real estate professional would be to always be straight up with everybody, including your tenants in this case. Chris, what's your take? Well, you have no legal requirement to tell them that you're selling. However, yeah, people people wouldn't react well if you're trying to hide. <laughs> that's not that's a business decision. That's about friendly people. As far as a requirement, you don't have to do that. You probably should, but you don't have to. to make, just make your life make your life easier. Follow what Dean said. Follow what Chris said. Be a human being. Let the people know what your plans are, so that way you don't have more stress later on. Because if you're not telling them they're not going to move, they're not going to cooperate. If you tell them with advance yeah. notice, they will cooperate. Oh, this is a touchy topic, so basically there's a lot we can go delve into, but uh, the time that we're recording this is Friday night, so we all got other things that we got to do, but we want to make sure that we get this information to you 
as soon as possible. So, Chris, a final words. How can people reach you if they have questions about evictions and landlords tenant issues? Sure. That's my direct office line. My cell is to our email is cgottlieb at boragoldstein.com. And Dean Graber, where can they find you and what's our website? Always on my phone, just like I am right now. Five and call or text me anytime. Our website is bwnmyhomesales. And I'm Evan St. Evans. I'm Evan St. Gerard, I'm your real estate <laughs> agent. I work with Dean. We're business partners at Team NWE here in Queens, but we also work in Brooklyn, the Bronx, Long Island. I said on or in Long Island. I know I'm going to give hate mail for on, that one. On Long Island. There we go. On Long Island. So, on Long Island. Uh, you can find me on time. Our office line is 71. And I'm going to ask one last question. It had nothing to do with any of these things, but I'm going to ask source questions. All right. Uh -oh. Chris, Mets uh -oh. or Yankees? <laughs> Well, I live in Brooklyn now, so I'm all about the Mets. I'm kind of I, I like you until you said that answer. <laughs> Dean, I didn't know you mentioned it. I had seen it. I live and work in Brooklyn. Dean? Well, I'm a New Yorker, so of course I'm for the Mets. My, my answer... <laughs> And my answer is... Would have never known. Yeah, I know. You would have never guessed that. All right, uh, hockey. Hockey. There is only one. Rangers. Rangers. Oh. Islanders. Surprise. I'm surprised, Chris. That's we'll see you next... We'll, 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 we'll see you second round. First round, it's all Islanders. Oh. You mentioned that you're in Brooklyn, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's the net space basketball for you. I don't really follow basketball. Shot. Yeah. All right. Okay, Nets. Nets. All right, let's go Nets. All right, Dean? I tried to like the Nets because I'm from Long Island, and I used to be from Long Island years ago, but it's the Knicks. For me, it's the Knicks, without a doubt. My last... So we're just going to do this till we're in agreement on something, right? All right, so <laughs> last question. It's Friday night. You're done with work. You're getting ready for the weekend. Chris, what do you like to do for fun or basically just to relax? I relax. I hang out with my son. Good question. Uh, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Fun is, get, fun is getting home and going to sleep at 10. All right. How about you, Dean? Movies, sports, and eating. My answer is eating. It's always eating, basically. I'm going to movies. And Just eating? Eating some alcohol and beverages every now and then. But that's pretty much it. All right. It's Friday night. We're pretty much it's done. Uh, this, thank you for watching. Getting to know us. Now that you know us, trust us, we are. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions about real estate, whether it's buying, selling, or investing, or if you have a legal question regarding eviction, tenant, or landlord situations, feel free to reach out to Chris. Reach out to Dean and myself when it comes to your real estate needs. And that's pretty much it. If you have comments, put them down below. Thank you for watching. Go have a great week.